once again i myself randish thakar with my friend molik bhat welcomes you to the lecture series of how to build an autonomous hand follower robot of prevans 2k11 in this our fourth lecture we will be discussing about controller interface as you know we are using at mega 60 controller built up by vendor atmel well there are other controllers available manufactured by other vendors like national instruments national semiconductors semiconductor technology but as atmel controllers are cheap and easy to operate we will be using atmel controller and particularly atmel 16 now it is having 16 kilobyte of flash memory let me show you its rashid so it is pdip package and it is a 40 pin chip among 40 chips you can use 32 chips either as input chips or output chips but there are 8 pins that must be used as described they are reset vcc ground yrt ground and avcc you must provide plus 5 volt as input to vcc and avcc pins and ground to both the ground pins the reset pins the reset pin enables when you provide a low input to it that means by default 5 volts or high logic should be provided to reset pin and as soon as you provide a low logic it will reset your controller means the pointer will set itself to the beginning of a program and your whole program will be executed starting from top to bottom now out of this eight pins the other two pins are extel 2 and extel 1 and the other pins can be used either as input or output pd4 pd4 and pd5 chips sorry let me first tell you about the ports each controller has is having several ports This particular controller is having four ports: port A, port B, port D, and port C. Each port is having eight pins. Likewise, like P A zero, P A one, P A two, up to P A seven. And you must specify that which pin you are using as input or output exclusively in your program. Well, this particular controller is having three PWM pins. Pin number 18, 19, and 21. That are PD4, PD5, and PD7. PD4 is termed as OC1B, PD5 as OC1A, and this as OC0. Now let me show you this controller. at present you must not concern about the uh, the other circuit focus on the controller this is atmega 16 controller and i have connected this main terminal across its programming pins they are mosi miso sck reset vcc and ground starting from 6 pin to 11 well you can you can upload a program into controller using usb avi programmer uh, they are sold by uh, robo kits a well known vendor in gujarat they have provide they have provide 6 pin female to uh, connect uh, to upload a upload a program into controller and hence i have to use 6 pin male but mind you that the fashion in which you connect this 6 pin 
uh, is such that the ground pin that you have connected to this pin must match with the ground pin of your 16 pin wheel. They are provided on their chip which wire is of ground, which of BCC, SCK, MISO and MOSI and accordingly you, can, you should connect this 6 pin, 6, 6 pin wheel either on this direction or in this direction. Now, you can see there is two black connector. You must connect this on both of the pins uh, and you must not short these two terminals. That means you must not connect this connector here. They also provide one USB code with it. One set of USB must be connected with a programmer, another to a computer. You can have more information about this controller, about this programmer from the site. Robogusinner.com Mind you, you must not give supply to a controller while uploading program into it. So that comes to the end of our fourth lecture. Thank you.